Ah, oh, YouTube, don't you dare be sour and clap for your not at all famous toy reviewer and feel the power. It's a new day review. Yes, it is. Hello, I told you all we're going to start trying to get into some reviews. So we've got a very special one today. We've got the new days in their bootios box. So it's actually the elite figures inside. So we'll start with this side. You can see it's got the information of what it contains. We've got vitamin K, BX, okay. 0% negativity. And it's got 100% unicorn horns, magic, tricep meat, trombones, clapping, power of positivity, friendship, twerking, dreams, tears of haters, hope, smiling, love, reboflavin, famine, or thiamine, I probably pronounced it wrong, happiness, sweetness, and rainbows. So we got excitement shout outs, free bird rule, Michael Coleisms, I quite like that one, JBL's hat, sunshine, Howard Finkel's voice, Kofi's sneakers, Francesca, not no Francesca number two in this one, boom drops, <laughs> big ending, getting lost in the woods, uranium, <laughs> because why not, stars candy, up up down down, VKM, <laughs> Jim Johnson's grooves, I like that, shout out to Jim Johnson, light it, Lightning, Swag, Strength, Papa Shango's Voodoo, Tracks Oats, Turnbuckle Pads, Pumpkin Spice, yes, Santino's Cobra, Lucha Masks, Socko Astronaut Food, and a fresh coat of paint. The other side tells us how to dance like a big E. So apologies for not getting it all in the shot, but as you can see, you open your eyes wide, stare into the middle distance, spread your feet slightly more than shoulder width to create a strong base. Rotate hips counterclockwise, raise left arm while turning, hold your head in the opposite direction, hold to a count of five, alternate. Oh, and let's pop that up there, it's easier to do it like this. Step four, never stop gyrating. So usually I wouldn't go through the boxes for most stuff, but it's really interesting and they put a lot of work into this. So you can see you've got the unicorn mask for you to cut out, and you've even got the shades there. And then obviously it brings us back round to the front, which is pretty much your standard Bootios box. So what's inside, you may ask, if you haven't twigged already, it is the New Day themselves. So obviously we've got Big E, Kofi, and Xavier Woods. And again, I can really see the work that's been put into the box. We've got a nice little rainbow there on the bottom. And of course these are the elite figures. The only thing left to do now is open these bad boys up. Of course we have the New Day here in their WrestleMania 32 gear. And get a slightly better look as they're in the packaging here. Let's set the camera focus. So we've got Big E. Absolutely wonderful facial absolutely wonderful facial expression from Big E as usual. And Kofi there. Number one dad of the year, we'll have you know. And of course the host of Up Up Down Down, Xavier Woods. So it's a little bit disappointing they didn't come with the Saiyan armor that they came out in. But nonetheless, still mightily impressed. So let's get these free of their packaging. So as you can see we finally freed them from their packaging and you can see they all got the ab crunch that is standard on most of the elite figures so that's really nice. As expected joints are pretty much standard for an elite so if you've never seen one before we got the double knees which allows for extra posability. Sadly the elbows are just standard single but we can do deal with that. Obviously you've got the swivel and the curl there, and obviously your bicep swivel, and your shoulder joints go all the way around, etc, etc. And we get Biggie turning his head, a little bit stiff, but that's always good. We've got a little bit of up and down, or should I say up, up, down, down. And like I said, thigh swivel, thighs go like that, and forward. And of course we've got a little bit of ankle tilt, I think. Not much on Biggie, but there we go. And of course I go back and forth, don't want to pressure it too much. Well it would go back and forth. But I'll let that warm up a little bit because sometimes you do risk breaking the joints. So while we got Big E here, let's take a closer look at him. So as you can see he's got a great facial expression. I'd expect no less from Big E. And the unicorn horns are detachable so if you've got a few other guys and girls you can always put them on someone else. Fortunately I don't have anybody on me now but I'm sure it'll fit. So yeah, we've got the usual closed fist and open hand. That's pretty standard for the elites. So yeah, some of the paint apps are a bit sloppy. I'd expect slightly more, but we can't have everything as they say. 
but it's good the, the paint on the face is a pretty solid tiny little bit of smudge in here and there but I gotta give them the due this is some of the best faces I've seen on the WWE figures especially the elites some of them are more sort of caricatures trying to capture them but these are pretty solid I think Kofi here again detachable unicorn horn standard articulation and again a little bit of paint smudging a little bit of runoff here uh, but he does have his winged booties and then on to Xavier Woods if I don't drop him so of course you can see all his glorious Goku-esque hair I would say and you got the stars there and you can hold his trombone although it's not the most solid of holds you'd have to really sort of almost balance it so if we bring him back a bit but you can for argument's sake get up to his lips but obviously it's not going to be holding it too well at any given point because of course closed fist but it does the job it gives you the gist of it again a little bit of paint smudging here and there but that's to be expected on these apparently and of course you got his cheeky boots and of course you can see his head goes really well so to give you all an idea of the posability we got Biggie locking in a Boston Crab on Xavier Woods and we got Xavier Woods channeling his inner Brock Lesnar as he German suplexes Kofi and we got Big E setting up Kofi for the big ending. So overall, it's great to get all three of these guys, especially in one pack. Loving the WrestleMania 32 gear. I think I'd have been happy paying the full price for these guys. But I got rather lucky and found them in the Entertainer for $14.99. Absolute bargain. So if you get yourself to an Entertainer and find these guys, highly recommend picking them up. So as usual, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you want your friends and family to know about it, share the link. And if you haven't already and you want to be really cool, subscribe. So until next time, see ya.